Hey YouTube. So I'm doing an oil change on my 2008 Player Sportsman 500 HO. And what you'll need is two liters of your preferred oil. That's mine. I have a Bosch 3323 oil filter. An uh, oil filter wrench, a pair of needle nose pliers, and a 14 millimeter wrench. So, what you do first is you go down to your oil tank right here. Crack it open, just like that. Also want an oil pan. That's kind of essential. While that's draining, I'll go and clean the drain plug. As you can see here, get a bunch of filament on it because it's got a magnet. As you can see. So you go ahead and clean that up. The oil tank's finishing draining. Finished draining. Of course, you also run the bike for. Uh, I ran it for ten minutes. Get it to warm up. Plug done. Tank's done draining out. So reinstall the plug. Don't over torque these tanks because they're prone to leaking. So should be good. Now you move over to the oil filter and some people can get them by hand but I have a tool so you can't really get an angle. There you go. Just like that. Remember to move my pan over. Take that off. Make sure the rubber gasket comes with it. Make sure there's no gasket on the block. Just clean this surface off a little. Now you want to take some of your new oil. Just and I'll dip my finger in it. Get it on the new oil filter o-ring. Just like this. It 
it's really hard to keep clean in this job and make a video. Again, that's the Bosch 3323 filter. I had a Polaris filter on this last time. You could tell it's longer, this one. I did have Mobile One in it though, still. Just want to tighten that on. Just like that. Now, we'll move to take the same wrench as the oil tank. We'll go over to the Crankcase, crankcase drain plug, which if you get someone to see it, it's right there. That's what I gotta get to under the bike. So if I can just get that to show up, well, I'll have to take it with me. So you go under the right side of your bike, up there, and right there, that big one in the center behind the hose, is what I'm going to be taking out. There's the crankcase oil. I think that's uh, about half a liter, I think, comes out of that. Plugs clean. Here's the drain plug hole. So I'll put that back in. The wrench. <clears throat> A lot of people have trouble with this really tricky spot but I have a pretty good hang of it now usually And just like that, got it in. So you go to your oil tank and you pull off the cap. Here's your dipstick. Just gotta clean it off. Just set it somewhere. I got my oil funnel. And you just pour your oil in. So for right now, you just reinstall the oil tank dipstick, like so. You 
gonna get your key. Now, this next part, people say you don't have to do if you don't remove right here the oil screen that's in this fitting. Which I did the first couple oil changes and then it was clean all the time, so I left it. So go to the top of your oil tank. Let's see if I get a light. That rubber fitting, that rubber hose right there. You clamp it, and then you start the bike, and then you hold it for 20 seconds. Primes the system. Like I said, they say you don't need it if you don't pull that line, but with a dry sump, I'm not taking the chance. So I'm gonna 